everyone. I'm Dr. Neeti Krishna Raizada. I'm Senior Director of Medical Oncology and Hemato Oncology at Fortis Group of Hospitals in Bangalore. Uh, a little bit about bone marrow transplant or peripheral stem cell transplant. Well, this is a technique used for hematological cancers or blood cancers. It could be leukemia, it could be lymphoma or myeloma or certain other type of rare blood cell ca blood cancers including myelodysplastic syndrome sometimes myeloproliferative neoplasms as well now what exactly do we do in bone marrow transplant well it could be of two large type it could be autologous transplant which is normally done in myelomas and lymphomas in which your cells are harvested from it's a type peripheral stem cells are ha harvested and collected through a machine kept in refrigeration while you give high intensity uh, chemotherapy known as high dose chemotherapy and these cells are given back to you known as peripheral stem cell rescue so that uh, the cells or the normal cells which have been killed with high dose chemotherapy could be regenerated by your own stem cell known as autologous stem cell transplant. The other large type of transplant is allogenic stem cell transplant in which allogenic source or foreign source of stem cell is collected. This could be your brother sister known as sibling donor transplant. It could be an unrelated donor transplant or it could be half matched transplant. All this requires a match known as an HLA match between the recipient and the donor and based on the match type whether it's complete match or it's less than complete match a, com a matched transplant or a haplo transplant is offered what do you expect by doing transplant well yes it can take care of a big disease which which could be a fatal disease like a leukemia or a lymphoma or a myeloma but at the same time it can affect certain normal cells as well so during transplant the transfusion requirements are more you may actually get some unusual type of infections which require higher antibiotics an occasional case of intensive care hospitalization may also be required during recovery you could have sometimes mucositis or mouth ulcers which can make eating little difficult they could be fatigue because of low blood counts they could be diarrhea which could persist for a while because the same mucous membrane is affected in the gut as well for allogenic transplant, we follow up for graft versus host disease known as GVHD, which could cause skin rashes, it could sometimes cause liver dysfunction or sometimes cause gut involvement as well. And therefore, most of the patients of allogenic transplant are followed over a long length of time. Thanks so much.